It is the Mike Show. It's the Tuesday edition of the program that brings us Megan Huffman from Share Greater Lynchburg. Hi. Hello, Mike. How are you? Doing really, really well. Um, Each and every Tuesday, uh, Megan stops by and she brings us a guest. Today is no exception. Who did you bring? Yes, I'm delighted to have Bailey Mooney. She is with Big Brothers Big Sisters and serves as the outreach and recruitment uh, coordinator over there. And we've just been hearing about how there's some um, kids out there that are waiting for mentors, and wow. we want to we want to solve that, right? So yeah, absolutely, and we believe in the Share Greater Lynchburg community. Um, we can we can fix this. So uh, so Bailey's here to talk about um, who, what that looks like, what does mentorship look like, yeah. and what. Um, when, how, how do you sign up? Yeah. Uh, well, Bailey, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you taking time today. Uh, tell us about uh, your organization and then tell us about the program. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, like uh, you guys kind of said, um, I work with Big Brothers Big Sisters, which is basically a mentorship program. Um, our mission is to positively impact the youth in our community um, by providing them with a one to one mentor, you know, a caring adult who can be a positive role model for them um, and kind of have this positive impact in their life. Um, and the primary way that we do that is through two uh, programs that we offer. So one of them is called our community-based program. And then the other one is called our site-based program. So I'll kind of go into the community-based program first. Um, what that is, is it's going to be about an eight hour uh, a month commitment for, um, you know, the mentors. Um, and what they do is they are matched with um, a child in our community who is just in need of that, you know, relationship with an adult who's going to care about them. Um, and so basically, there's a lot of freedom for the mentors um, in this program to, you know, kind of take the, their little wherever they want, uh, kind of do whatever they want with them. Um, a lot of mentors in this program um, use weekends to do this um, because, I mean, once once every weekend, you know, in the month, you can spend two hours with your little um, and easily meet that eight hour commitment. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of times uh, our mentors say that, you know, it's really surprising how easy it is to meet that eight hour minimum. Yeah. Um, it kind of sounds like a lot. Um, off the bat, but really, it's not that much um, of, of a time commitment. And now, I mean, now, if you go to see a Marvel movie, <laughs> right, you can knock it out in just one sitting. Exactly. Right yeah. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and so, I mean, a lot of our mentors in this program are people with jobs, with families, with other commitments. Um, and this program works really well because you just get to take your little along with you um, in your daily life. It's not something that you have to, you know, plan some extravagant event, you know, every weekend. Um, you really just get to kind of absorb um, this this child kind of into what you're already doing. Okay. Um, Bailey, so- what's the um, typical age of these age range of these children? So we serve children from ages six to 16. Okay. Um, yeah, so those are kind of where we will will match. However, um, if you are matched with a child, um, we uh, keep that match open until they are eighteen. Okay, great. Yeah, um, about how many kids uh, right now are are kind of on a waiting list? Yeah, so we have upwards of about twenty to thirty kids just wow. waiting to be matched right now. Oh my! Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, where Well, folks can go to Share Greater Lynchburg, and I've got the link uh, popped up here on the page. Uh, and if you uh, type in Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Virginia, uh, you can learn more about the volunteer opportunities uh, and then events and things like that that are going on. Mm-hmm. Um, well, and, and speaking of which, uh, you guys have an event coming up. Yeah, yeah. So we have Bull for Kids Sake, um, which is on March 23rd. Um, And so basically that is just kind of um, one of our big fundraising um, events of the year uh, to raise money to support just the programs that we offer to come alongside both the bigs and the littles as well as their their families um, to just kind of keep what we do going. Um, So that's yeah, what yeah. we got going on. That's great. We have that on the website as well. So you mentioned that there was a community-based program and then there's a site-based program. Yes. So is that after, is it more after school? Yes. So our site-based program, there are basically kind of two facets to this. Um, there is an after-school 
um, program, which works well for uh, what we call our high school bigs uh, program, because high school students in our community can mentor kids. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. So that is kind of after school in the community centers, um, Jubilee and uh, Boys and Girls Club. Um, oh, good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. However, another facet of uh, this program is um, ha- taking time out of your day to have lunch with your little while they are at school. Okay. Um, so this is something that works well for maybe adults who are working full time jobs. Maybe their weekends are, you know, pretty busy, but they can take uh, an hour a week to have lunch with their little. Um, so the site based program is a requirement of four hours a month that breaks down to one hour a week um for you to spend time with your little and you know going to eat lunch with them at school is a really good way to do that yeah that sounds really doable just pick a pick a certain day of the week and meet once a week for lunch with your little that's great yeah Yeah, that is fantastic well thank you we'll we'll put all this in the share uh greater lynchburg newsletter this week with links for how to get involved but i i feel certain we can um you know secure some new mentors through these channels so that's that's wonderful absolutely and that would be tremendous Mm -hmm. Uh, again, you can uh, learn uh, more by going to sharegreaterlynchburg.org. Uh, type in Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Central Virginia. It brings up uh, a few different options, including upcoming events. Uh, and a wish list uh, you can purchase. You can make a purchase uh, on behalf of Big Brothers, Big Sisters uh, right there on the website. Have the items delivered. Uh, mm-hmm. Whatever uh, whatever the organizations need, it's right there on Share Greater Lynchburg. Um, so, Megan, yeah, uh, you were you were out of town. Yep, back into it. Back here. Uh, what uh, what's uh, what's all going on? Yeah, so we're um, we're closing in on the really January is about planning, right? And yeah. so we're in the we're getting ready to step into February. So this this Thursday's newsletter will feature all of our lunch and learns for the year. Okay. Um, it will have all of our um, or our upcoming mixer, a night at the Hillcats ballpark. You know, there's there's a lot of great things that have been laid in, into place this month that will be coming out in our Thursday newsletter. So it's, it's one you don't want to miss. And uh, for the Greater Lynchburg Community Foundation, it's uh, it, we're entering into the season of uh, grant applications. Uh, this Thursday, February 1st, we kick off our Century Fund application. That's $100,000 grant that's given out once a year to one nonprofit. And that is open only the month of February to apply. Really? So, um, okay. so it starts on Thursday. And we just want to make sure to get the word out that that is open. We also have scholarships uh, coming open for students in the region to apply for. We have a lot of specific uh, designated scholarships that are um, that have been made by d- generous donors in our community, have started funds to promote these scholarships. And so we want to make sure that the high schoolers in our region are aware of the the great scholarship opportunities that we have. And then our, um, our deadline for our spring cycle of grants will be March 15th. And okay. So really in the next, uh, I guess, six weeks uh, is a big grant making or grant applying time for the yeah. foundation. And so we're just trying to get the word out. We had a record setting 97 applications for our fall cycle. That's and I tremendous. you know, I have to believe that just getting the word out and trying to spread the word about these opportunities it, and it only makes every everyone um, do better. So um, we're looking forward to this, this time of grant making. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, about uh, how much in in a year's period of time? Uh, how much in in dollar amounts uh, does the foundation award? Uh, last year was two point two million wow. dollars. That's so tremendous. that that scholarships grant cycle two grant cycles yeah. and the special grants as well. So um, it's and and you know it only keeps keeps growing as, as generous we had a great end of year and a lot of amazing donors that are contributing to add to that pot and so that number only is is getting larger and and, and we as the need goes up you know yeah absolutely mm-hmm. um you can learn more by visiting lynchburgfoundation.org for the greater lynchburg community foundation uh the uh, application for grants and scholarships all the information even the youth philanthropy council uh all that information is right there on the website and check it out um thank you yeah thank you absolutely thank you so much for taking time uh and uh find out more about uh, big brothers big sisters uh i know there there are plenty of opportunities there are plenty of kids that that need that connection mm-hmm. uh and it's it's great work that you guys do so mm-hmm. learn more uh by visiting share greater lynchburg uh thanks so much and uh, we'll talk thanks. to you again soon thanks mike thanks. it is the mike show uh coming up uh, a little bit later on we've got your audio vault stay tuned mm-hmm.